Well, I want to thank you so much uh, to another episode of Now Hear This. Thank you, everybody, for joining us today. Um, today is a little bit different. I don't have Barris sitting next to me. Isn't that great? I mean, that's not nice. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> sorry, Barris. But uh, no, I have this lovely lady sitting next to me. She is my business partner and longtime friend of nine years. This is Jacqueline LeMay. Yeah, thank you for having me. Andy. Thank you for being on. Thank I'm so, you. I'm so proud of that. Um, we're going to talk today about the experience, um, the hearing test experience. But before we talk about that, I think it's really important that we talk about testing in general and the importance of that, right? Yes, it's it's really important to get a baseline hearing evaluation, mm. whether you're in your 40s, 50s, or 60s, mm -hmm. um, or even earlier if you feel you have the signs and symptoms of hearing loss. Yeah. Um, you know, some of the signs are very subtle, uh, putting the TV up louder, mm. um, not hearing in background noise in restaurants. Yeah. Um, Constantly you know, asking pardon. Yeah, repeating yeah. often. You know, so these are subtle signs, but uh, a really good indication that maybe you should go in and somewhere and get yourself an, a hearing right, evaluation. Right, right. And I think important yeah. from a clinician standpoint as well, because um, if we don't have a, a, a baseline or a test in the system, yeah and something happens six months or, or a year down the road or something, we've got nothing to compare right. it to, right? That's true. So super important. Okay, so, uh, you know, a, a person has decided, you know, it's time to pick up the phone and call, all right? So when they pick up the phone, who are they going to talk to? They're going to talk to me. Oh, and that's too bad. <laughs> no, no that is kidding. over. <laughs> and, um, you know, I'm more than just getting a name and a phone number. Um, I like to find out a little bit what has, uh, you know, what, what has caused them to um, make the first phone call. Yeah. Um, you know, is it sudden hearing loss? If it is, that's just a big red flag. That's a huge one. That well, is something yeah. that, hey, stop everything right there. If it's a sudden hearing loss, they got to get to the hospital, right? That's right, yeah, right away. For sure. Yeah. Um, and uh, just get a little information, find out, you know, who's dragging them there. Sometimes it's a, <laughs> a husband dragging a wife or yep. a wife, uh, you know, telling us that her husband isn't listening anymore. That's or, right. And yeah. the husband is going, I've been listening to you for 60 years. Yep. I don't want to listen to you anymore. No, <laughs> right? True. Yeah, there's that. Yeah. Um, okay. So that, that's, that's good. Now you, and, and you're going to notice already folks that, that she, she's got a warm voice and that's the, the important part of the experience is that we are disarming. We don't want people to feel nervous about coming into a hearing clinic, any hearing clinic. It's really important. So, all right. So the person you've taken the information, yeah. uh, you've got the, the name, you've got the date they're coming in. Now it's the date they're coming in. Yeah, we uh, we have protocols in place, safety protocols. Ah, uh, doors are locked. Um, uh, most clinics uh, by appointment only now. Right. Um, we have masks. Mm -hmm. I have my partition up. Mm -hmm. So we uh, we make sure that you know those who are uh, you know a little bit uh, hesitant to come out in the, these conditions are are yeah. safe in our clinic. Yeah. And, yeah, and and it's important. The clinic itself too is right. It's it's warm. Yeah, right, it's, it's a warm feeling, very zen-like. So I, yeah. what you're seeing, folks, in the background, right? It's uh, it's it's warm, it's comfortable, it's the lighting is soft, the music is playing, so they can just relax, right? That's right. So they come up to the desk, they give you the information, and yes, and um, I really like to get a sense of again why they're there. Mm. Um, you know, when was their last hearing test? Mm -hmm. um, uh, like one lady uh, looked at me very perturbed and <laughs> asked, you know, why would you want to know when I had a urine test? <laughs> and, she uh, did. So, I fell off my chair when yeah. she said that. It was so funny. And um, to which Jacqueline responded, no, no, not a urine test, a hearing <laughs> test. And the lady said, well, I'm obviously in the right place. And she was. And she yeah. was. <laughs> um, yeah. And it's good. And, and Jacqueline is about that. A, a really good uh, receptionist is going to take that information, but really get a sense of, hey, this person is from Chilliwack. What is unique about them? Uh, you know, I think that's important. Yeah. It makes a connection to the person, correct? That's right. Yeah. Getting to know them. Right. Okay. So now the person you've got their information in and it's time for them to come and see me, right? I know. Too bad, eh? <laughs> I know. So um, now I do the full battery of testing and it's really important. The testing is very comprehensive, right? We do a battery of tests. That's what should be done at every clinic. Um, the more information, the better. The better the hearing picture can look, right? So, but in that process, it's important too because these people feel uh, on edge. They're feeling like, oh my goodness, I had to come in and get a hearing test done. I'm not sure I want to do this. 
So I try to bring in some humor, right? Um, and one example is uh, we do this word testing. And word testing is very important. It helps us understand as a clinician um, how well their speech processing is. So the instruction I give to the client is you're going to hear words. I would like you to do your best to repeat each word as you hear them. Um, and then I say, and each word will be a minimum of 15 syllables. And they, 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 they <laughs> and then I start laughing uh, because it's funny, um, but it just leaves them feeling a little bit more disarmed. And I think that's important. Um, so we get the testing all done and the results. Sent to the family doctor, Absolutely. physician, always very important. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that should be done by every clinic. It should be uh, almost mandatory, I believe. The GP, the family doctor, should be brought into the situation, brought into the picture, okay? Um, we always say, say, too, if we're going to communicate the results to the client, is there someone that's come with them? Is there a family member? It's so important that if you're going to pick up the phone and make a phone call and call a clinic, bring a family member in so the information, the results, can be communicated to two people and thereby you can make a more, yeah. um, a more um, sound and more informed decision, correct? That's right. Has this been fun? This has been fun. I think so too. <laughs> so um, that's it for this week on uh, Now Hear This. Uh, next time we're going to be um, um, very fortunate to have one of our clients come in and uh, talk about their experience. And I think that's going to be really neat. Yeah. Um, I want to thank you for coming in. Thank you for having me. Uh, it's been wonderful. So stay tuned next time for the, another episode of Now Hear This.